It's one of my favorite monasteries to paint. I've made my students do it in acrylics, in watercolors, some sketching. I share some pictures at the end. Thank you. So let's begin. I'll be using acrylic paints, uh, flat brushes, round brushes, and a very fine brush to make the monastery. Other than that, your water, tissue paper, to wipe your brushes clean all the time. Always have clean water and clean brushes. Let's begin. Now the monastery itself, if you notice, all these lines are meeting at one point here. So if you make a point here, and then you draw the lines, they will all approximately meet here somewhere maybe. All these lines, the windows, the top of the monastery, you go systematically, even this, they all meet over here, over here at approximately this point. So once you draw those lines, then all the windows are parallel lines, parallel to the wall. Take one wall and make them all parallel to each other, like take maybe this as a reference and draw them all parallel to each other like this. Similarly, take this wall and then draw them all parallel to each other. So I have exactly drawn it as explained. All the lines are meeting here. Can you see that? And all the windows are parallel to this one wall. This particular line is a bit crooked here and here because that's the shape of the monastery building. So let's begin. Let's apply a wash with plain water. I do this on whenever I use a paper. Right now I'm using 300 GSM hot press paper. It's a local company, some Indian company. I just keep buying all sorts of paper and trying them out. So let's give it a kind of a cloudy effect here. All the clouds are coming down like this. That's what I'm aiming for. I added a little dark shade here and there to just give it a cloudy effect. paint on top of the mountain a little bit or even on top of the monastery because we're going to cover it up. Acrylic paint is very forgiving. You can make as many mistakes and keep correcting them. That's it. I think let's stick to a simple cloud. Maybe I would like to add a little bit of a grey. Not very dark. Just a tinge of it at places. Wash your brush, wipe it well, and then blend. Take water to blend, take the lighter shade to blend on this. Also remember keep in mind acrylic paints dry very fast. So don't put too much paint on your paper, then you'll be having a lot of dry patches everywhere. Till you are sure what you're going to do. Let's move in it out.
see the down of the mountain area. That's it. Dense looking mountain. The color is very dense. So we take a little bit of this Prussian blue, a little bit of black, and a little bit of cobalt blue. That's the color I'm mixing. See? It's getting dry. So I just put a drop of water, but don't put too much water in all this. Try to avoid putting water. Maybe we can put a little bit of brush in more. And a drop of black. I think this is a nice, beautiful color to give it a very dusky look. So I'll just mark it very randomly. The brown where my mountain is. I will have to put it on the monastery a bit because I don't want any blank spaces anywhere. I'll pull it down like this. It's as simple as that. Take a thinner brush, take lemon yellow and sap green. I mixed it a bit and at the same time I have left color on either side just in case I need to apply plain color. So now these trees are like going lengthwise like this. Take some plain color in the middle. Probably some plain yellow this side because there's some sunlight falling there. I'm just drawing straight lines. I just want to give an impression of a forest there. You don't have to do details. Take a little plain green here and there. Then we put a second layer of trees. My methods are very simple. I hope you can grasp them easily. I don't do too much of blending and shading and all that. I like to go in for the flat color look. Now I've mixed uh, Prussian blue with a bit of sap green here and there just to give the distinction between those trees and these trees. I'll put pure dark color here, this portion. Now these are more rounded kind of trees, so I'll just go around like this. Then this part I will put just maybe plain blue and a bit of a green. One side dark, one side light. As simple as that. Trying to give it a kind of a roundish look. These trees are a little rounded like this. So, go by the flow of the mountain. It's going like this.
need a little bit of green here, a little bit. Just a little bit, and that's it. Keep a little bit of burnt sienna. Some burnt sienna here also. See, I'm trying to give the mountain this kind of a shape. Now this is like another mound over here, so we will shift the shape over here a little bit, like this. Now let's start with the monastery. This portion is darker. So I'll put white initially just to cover the monastery, plain white. thick coat of white so that the whiteness of the monastery stands out later on. Now this part of the monastery has a little bit of a shadow so I'll mix the same thing with white that is your burnt sienna, little bit of an ochre and little bit of a burnt umber and I will just Put a shadow there, straight. Don't work too much on it, just flat color. Take a drop of water because it's getting too dry also. Where else we can put a shadow is here in this between shape. There is some shadow. There is a shadow kind here. So you have to get your shadows right, that will give the overall depth. A little bit of a shadow here. And this, the wall is a bit dirty. So, it's dirty means it has mud on it. So I will just, just put it like dot, 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 dot things.